Hey, Jim, before we go forward with the Dynamite review, I have a list here that's been making the rounds of purported AEW injuries. Who's on the injured list currently? <laughs> Would you like to hear the list? Sure, go ahead. Adam Cole, broken ankle. We knew that. Bandito, wrist surgery. Okay. The Blade, lower back injury. Sorry to hear that. Darby Allen, broken ankle, hit by bus. <laughs> broken ankle, hit by bus. <laughs> Some type of mental injuries as well. Brain damage is a factor. Go ahead. You don't usually see hit by bus on a list yeah. like this. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, back and neck injuries. And she's been gone for, what, a year and a half? I don't think it's been that long. I uh, thought she was just staying home taking care of Adam. Jamie Hayter, shoulder injury. They could have given her a new one by now, but okay. Julia Hart, shoulder injury. She just got hurt here a little while back, right? A few weeks ago. Jeff Hardy, broken nose and concussion. Well, the, who landed on him? Which one was it? Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara. Juice Robinson. You're saying that's the reason? <laughs> just Sammy well, yeah. Guevara. <laughs> All right, Juice Robinson. Back no, that, that's that's what, what happened. He got his face landed on by fucking Goofy Guevara. And I believe his brother has just uh, put out a statement today that he is cleared to come back. So let's see what happens. Juice Robinson, back injury. <sighs> Boy, they need him bad. Keith Lee, undisclosed injury. I, the, the, I, I, I hesitate to say on theory that he's got horrible tsetse virus and I'll sound like a a hard-hearted Hannah type, but I think it might be better if Keith's permanent vacation is find a new line of work at this point, because good lord. Kota Ibushi, complicated foot ankle injury. <laughs> he, he looks like fucking cotton on goddamn King of the Hill now, probably. That's what is complicated about it. it. When we signed him, he was five foot nine. Now he's four foot six. What happened? Mercedes Monet, ankle injury, returning May 26th. I think Mercedes Monet has had an angle injury. <laughs> Every time she does an angle, it hurts her career. Mark Davis from Aussie Open, broken wrist. I forgot wrist. about him. Yeah, he's the reason Fletcher's with uh, Don Callis. He has a broken wrist. Well, that's terrible. You know, you can slow down on that a little bit, for heaven's sake. I can't imagine how fast he'd had to be going to break his wrist. Miro, shoulder and elbow injuries. The Bulgarian medical system moves a little bit slower than it does here in America. Are you knocking? I'm, I'm, I've got a squeaky chair now. I didn't want to say anything, but... It's not I squeaking. Kind of, it's, it's knocking. It's like back well, and I, forth. I leaned over and it kind of it went, 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 went. All right, well, uh, MJF, back to the list here. MJF, torn labrum. I, I I don't even if they fix his labia, his labrum, I labrum. Uh, what I don't I don't want him to come back on this television program. It will fucking ruin his career forever. I think he should keep finding things to get fixed for the next however long he's under contract. Ortiz with a tour, I was about to say. Ortiz. <laughs> Ortiz has a torn Tito? No, he has a torn peck. I don't know why. I almost said it backwards and it popped myself. Ortiz, Ortiz has a, a porn tech? He has a porn tech. Regardless of what he's torn, how long ago did he tear it? We haven't seen him in fucking months and months and months. Paul White, knee injury. The fuck? He's, he's an announcer. He doesn't even need to walk. Do we, wait a minute. Come to think of it, does he announce anymore? He was announcing their YouTube shows. They don't do YouTube anymore. Have you seen Paul White or heard his name mentioned in the past year, year and a half? We saw some footage of him. I want to say it was on the Jericho Cruise wrestling, and he was really struggling getting around. It looked like he could barely walk. Oh, they did some kind of, of thing on TV here, what, last year, where he took a bump on a vehicle and you never saw him again. Well, we'll see if we see him again, but back to the list. Powerhouse Hobbs, knee injury. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. So Moxley not only killed his career, but tried to physically fucking harm him in the process. Ricky Starks, undisclosed injury. 
Yeah, it's called fucking buyer's remorse on a contract he signed, probably. Scorpio Sky, undisclosed injury. I forgot he was an undisclosed talent. I forgot he was still there. Wheeler Yuta, undisclosed injury. What the fuck happened to him? Undisclosed injury. Wait a minute, do you mean... But again, there have been fucking people that have undergone fucking heart transplants and come back to public life quicker than this. He hadn't been on TV in a year and a half. I'd forgotten completely about him. Again, I don't and think we it's couldn't a, get away from him at one point. I don't think it's a year and a half, but it definitely has been a while. Yuka Sakazaki, leg injury. I, I, I'm not even touching that. And then we have a few here, non-injuries off TV. Adam Hangman Page, Family Matter. What? Dralistico, Visa Issues. I can understand that. Kenny Omega, Diverticulitis. Yes. Penelope Ford personal ruby soho maternity leave well you can't take bumps if you're pregnant and finally sammy Guevara suspended who <laughs> <laughs> spends most of his time okay i don't is know he what... ever going to come back because uh, you know a lot of people are thinking that the suspension if he got suspended for landing on jeff hardy's face he's been suspended for a while now he previously got in trouble and suspended in the early days of aw for comments he had made before then about Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks. Oh, that's right. I forgot it was about her. All of a sudden, she debuts, and he has never come back again. So well, a lot of people seem to think it may, be, it may be a punk cabana kind of thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> In all seriousness, would she... If, if she'd have to be a fucking obnoxious bitch to hold a grudge over a fucking smart-ass remark from five years ago. And secondly... Uh, if uh, I, I guess I can't put it past him if Tony's listening to that type of thing when so far, say what you want to about Sammy being an idiot. Basically, he is an idiot. But he's been a bigger fucking addition to the program with his contributions than she has with hers so far. So which one would you be listening to? No, I, th I think he's probably just suspended because everybody else hates him too because he every time he gets over with the fans... He, he, they they learn his true character and then they hate him and then he's a great heel until he fucks somebody up or does something stupid and gets suspended and then they forget about him entirely so his his horse has left the barn i think anyway i'd love to know why you can just take personal time off and i'd love to know why family issues prevent you from ever showing up at a goddamn job where you work once a fucking week and make hundreds of thousands of dollars at minimum. I'd love to know what those things are. Not that we want Penelope Pitstop back on television. Well, again, there are benefits to working for Tony Khan if you have any issues. And this isn't, you know, to laugh about it. If you have any issues, he will let you take all the time you need to take care of whatever you need. But certainly there are very few jobs out there in the world that let you do that. We don't know what her situation or anyone's situation is, so we shouldn't assume anything, but the injuries... Well, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me, but speaking of asses, oh, come on, Paige, one day a fucking week, show your whiny ass up to work. That's what Punk had to smack you around about. You're a bunch of these fucking clowns thinking you show up once a fucking month, because you're over. You're over and out. Anyway, what were you going to say? I was just going to say you got a hell of a card if you booked everyone who was injured, but let's go back to Dynamite. 